Hello my dear students hope all are doing well in today's math session we are going to start with our chapter number 1 that is basic concepts in geometry let's see what are the contents the first content what we are supposed to learn is point a point is shown by a tiny dot whenever you use a pen or a sharp pencil and try to point it or press it on a paper the thing which you get is called as a point or you can say simply the dot created by a pointed object is called as a point in mathematics while studying geometry in order to recognize different points they are supposed to be provided with a name and to differentiate this points or to label this points we are making the use of capital letters now in the figure alongside we have three different points and these are labeled as point p point a and point p and whenever you are reading it you should read it as point a or point p or similarly point p then the next concept which we are supposed to learn is lines whenever on a sheet of paper you take two points two different points then what you need to do is you need to connect these points by making the use of a ruler what you get is a straight line now just think upon can you extend the line beyond point a and beyond point b yes definitely you can do it as large the piece of paper is you can go on extending the line in both the directions but children what if like instead of having a size of paper if you have an infinite plane or infinite place where you can extend the line so you can extend the line forever without any limits on both the sides and just to show this extension of the given line we are marking both the ends by the use of arrows this arrow shows that you can extend or expand the line beyond the limits and while labeling the line we can simply make use of a small letter like here we have written it as line l or simply you can read it as line pq where p and q are the end points then the next concept to be learned is line segments initially as like we took two points on the plane of the paper if you join these two points with a ruler you get a straight line now children what is the difference between a line segment and a line basically a segment has a fixed length as like a line was supposed to be extended beyond the limits here the segment has a limit it has a fixed length you can or you cannot expand the segment beyond the end points like see a line segment is marked with the end points like your point a and point b are the end points and the so created line is called as a segment ab or simply in a short form it is read as seg ab then the next thing what we have is rays whenever we observe sun or any light emitting object like a bulb or a torch what we can see is the rays are emerging out from a source and they are extending like this is the origin and it expands outside so what is happening over here the rays starting from the sun or any source of light they go forward in all directions like what exactly is happening is they are getting started at a fixed point and they continue to expand up to infinity in single direction then what exactly is this ray a ray is a part of a line and it starts from the single point which is called as its origin and it continues in a single direction and again in this continuity there is no limit you can expand it how much you want then the starting point as i said it is called as a origin so your point p is the origin and the arrow head at the one extreme end shows that it is limitless and whenever you are labeling this ray 
इट विल बी रिटर्न एज स्टार्टिंग विद इट्स ओरिजिन यर ओरिजिन इज पी सो इट विल बी रिटर्न एज रे पी क्यू एंड नेवर इट विल बी रिटर्न एज रे क्यू पी यू कांट इन्वर्ट इट एज लाइक ऑलवेज द नेम ऑफ द रे हैज टू बी स्टार्टेड विद द ओरिजिन नाउ द नेक्स्ट कॉन्सेप्ट इज प्लेन्स नाउ जस्ट लुक एट दिस पिक्चर्स वॉट काइंड ऑफ सर्फेसिस डू यू सी इफ आई टॉक अबाउट द टेबल एंड द बोर्ड सो वॉट यू आर एबल टू ऑब्जर्व दे आर हैविंग फ्लैट सर्फेसिस एंड दैट ओनली वेन एवर आई एम ट्राइंग टू टच अ ग्लास सो वॉट हैपन्स इज आई विल बी एबल टू रेकग्नाइज द कर्ड सर्फेसिस वेर एज इन द फर्स्ट टू पिक्चर्स और इन द फर्स्ट टू ऑब्जेक्ट्स वी आर हैविंग फ्लैट सर्फेसिस so in mathematics this flat surfaces are called as a plane where you can perform various geometrical constructions so in mathematics a flat surface is always termed as a plane now in the figure alongside the pink rectangle is nothing but a plane and why did we show the arrows arrow shows that it can stretch again or you can stretch it pull it and increase its size but as we are restricted to the notebook size whenever we are drawing a plane we never show this arrows but the thing is plane can be expanded as like the line the next concept is parallel lines if you observe the figures in the first figure we have a page of a diary in which there are some lines in the second figure we have a ladder which we use to climb up and in the third figure if you observe there is a railway track so what is the similarity over here if you observe the figure the lines never meet each other they never intersect each other same is the case with the two arms of the ladder and same with the two tracks so what are these things or what are these figures representing the two arms two lines or the two tracks they never cross each other they never meet each other so in the similar fashion the lines which are present on the same plane but which do not intersect each other or which do not meet each other they are said to be the parallel lines or parallel to each other then next we have a let's recall part you we are supposed to implement the things which we learned in the figures there are certain pair of lines provided and what we need to do is we need to label them in the first figure the two lines are meeting each other at a single point so they will be termed as intersecting lines in the next figure we have the two lines which never meet which are not meeting in the given plane and as well if you extend them beyond the limits then too they are not supposed to meet so such lines are called as parallel lines the third pair even though now these two lines are not meeting but yes if we extend them so there is a possibility that these two lines may meet so even this third pair is a pair of intersecting lines now the next concept is of collinear points now what are collinear points if three or more than three points are lying in a single line they should be lying on the same line then they will be called as the collinear points again i repeat the points which lie on the single line they will be termed as a collinear points i hope children everyone is clear with today's session and if there is any difficulty or any query please feel free to drop it into the comment section thank you